All right, hey Dirk. All right, this is Dirk and Mike. We're working on this hired hand uh, vent door actuator and the main uh, threaded thing in here that's brass stripped out. And it's kind of tricky to replace and I thought I would forget how I did it. So we're gonna make this video to remind ourselves and anybody else that needs to work on a hired hand vent door actuator. So, um, you can see the bad part is in here. This is actually the bad part. This is the new one we just put on. So um, what we do first is you'll loosen a set screw or two up here in the top bearing. I think there was two. And then you can loosen this set screw here. And then down here in this plastic bushing, which actually goes at the bottom of the shaft, you'll loosen this uh, the one set screw out of here. Okay. Then um, rotate the, well, all right, the motor, is down here mounted. You're gonna to wanna to take the bolts out of the motor. You can see this motor has four bolts. The other, the other one had three bolts, but anyway, you take them four out and the motor can just drop right down. Um, but now if you're really daring like we were, we can use the motor to rotate the shaft to screw the um, to screw this up. So you can put the motor in uh, close and hold this with pliers and it'll run up to about halfway up the shaft. You wanna run it up out of the way to give the shaft room to drop. Then up here, um, well also we had the uh, the bad threads all stuck in the threads, the old brass. So I held it with some leather gloves and, and let it thread up off the shaft. And then you'll wanna unscrew this bottom nut right here. Unscrew this bottom nut, let it fall down. And then that lets the uh, bad parts slide up off the shaft. So basically the shaft drops down. You drop the motor down, raise the collar up, loosen them set screws, and the shaft will fall. That's pretty much all there is to it. So the only thing we needed was the uh, 7 16 ratchet for the motor, and then three Allens, and that was all the tools we needed. Plus you'll want a uh, pair of channel locks to turn the shaft with, or a uh, pipe wrench, either one. So that's just the quick um, details on how to get that apart without taking the whole machine apart. Thanks, Dirk. Okay.